We no longer have this named here, so I'm going to go ahead and rename this to SRV11. Okay, and next thing we want to take a look at is command line tool. And before, remember we were running NS lookup? We talked about that briefly. We ran it from SRV1. Now what we want to do is check out our DNS settings. Let's, let's take a look and see how this works. If I run NS lookup right now, remember that's doing a name server lookup out to my preferred DNS server. So by entering this command right now, what it's going to do, it's going to check to see whether or not DNS is configured correctly for this computer. Okay, and that's a good sign. When you see this here, instead of an error being generated, this is telling me the default server, the IP address, and this indicates that it is available. Okay, so it's there. We see it, srv1.benandbrady.com. There's the IP address. I can also start querying different server names, okay, or computer names. You know, we'll start off with what we did before, srv1 returns back an IP address. Oh, you actually have to type in the fully qualified domain name in this case. Brady.com. Okay, so it reveals that for us. And I could check for client one. Okay, and it gives me the IP address of the client one machine. Next thing we're going to take a look at, I want to scoot over to SRV1 and look at the DNS console before we come back here and finish up our work in SRV11. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, uh, instead of doing what I was doing, disconnect from this machine. So that's going to leave our session logged in. Okay, so I'm back in client one. And now we're going to log on over to server 11. Administrator, no password. Okay, I forgot to make my screen black over there. Okay, so here we're sitting on SRV11 now. What I'm going to do is open up DNS. Where'd you go? Oh, I hate when I do that. As you can see here, I logged on to the exact same system again, so I wasn't paying attention. And I disconnected that other session, and then I chose the exact same computer, logged on to the exact same computer instead of choosing server one. Okay, so now I've chosen server one, administrator. Okay, now we're back in SRV1. Okay, and recall SRV1 is the main domain controller. This is the only system that's running as a domain controller on this domain currently. So I'm going to go up to DNS. And what I want to show you here, if you open up these zones, look what's happened here. Okay, client one has a record added because it joined the actual domain. And it did this automatically without us doing anything about it at all. Okay, notice that this record just um, was populated automatically. And that is because the zone was set up to receive updates automatically. Okay, and that's what happened here. One record that we are missing though is from SRV11. Okay, so for whatever reason, SRV11 was not able to register with the DNS server. So let's go take a look. Maybe we can find out some uh, information on SRV11 and see what our problem is. I'm disconnecting here then. We're going back over to client one, and now we'll connect back to SRV11 again. Okay, here we are back on SRV11. First, let's go take a look at our DNS settings. Are we indeed pointing to the right DNS server? Okay, this is correct. We're supposed to be pointing to SRV1, 192.168.1.201. Okay, next issue I would take a look at is our DNS name here. 